big audience tonight. Welcome. Well, welcome. We got a big show for you. Emerald Lagasse here. Welcome to Emerald Live. And I'm sure you can all relate to tonight's show. Guess what? What? You know, it's late. It's late at night. You just want a little something. But you don't want to go to a lot of trouble. You just want to use what's in the fridge, maybe. And you want it now! <laughs> late snacks, right? I'm going to show you a few of mine. I've done plenty of fridge raiding in my time, you know? Yeah. First thing, real simple, especially if the kids, chocolate milkshake. That usually does it. If that doesn't do it, I'm going to show you some salami cornets. You got some leftover rice? You could always make some rice balls, right? Yeah. Something like that, anyhow. Or, you know, if you cut in late and, you know, feeling a little, you know, happy, you can always have a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, right? Yeah. Speaking about Philly, we got Doc Gibbs in the Emerald Live Band. Yeah. Hey, it's a great way to use everything in the fridge. Especially if you're going to make, like, a Shabbat pizza. going to show you that. Yeah. Quick, easy. Bada bang, bada bang, bada boom, bada bang, you know. Hey, get ready, folks. It's Late Snacks right here on Emerald Live. Late, late, it's late. You have late snacks? My kind of girl. Everybody eats late snacks, right? See, you guys thought these were the cheap seats, huh? How many people eat late snacks? It's incredible. It's amazing. But hey, we decided to do a whole show for the late snack crowd. A couple of my favorites, at least. I told you the first thing we were going to do is do sort of a little kicked up milkshake. That generally, especially with kids, that generally like does it. If not, back to the fridge. <laughs> Whole milk, some malt powder, chocolate sauce, chocolate ice cream. Let me show you my favorite. You like milkshakes? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Jordan. Jordan. Okay, so we're going to start with some ice cream, Jordan. I'm going to use a blender. Some people think that you can do it in a shake machine. Yeah, I might as well use it all. <laughs> See, when I make ice cream, I use sometimes these containers to put them in and then hard freeze them. So if they're not in too bad shape like this one here, you just rinse it out, let it dry, and you can use it again to hard freeze the ice cream. Oh, yeah. It's an economical show, too. <laughs> we hit all levels here. So I'm going to add a little bit of that malt powder. That generally, if you have that, you know, that malt powder sort of bulks it up a little bit. So we'll bulk it up a little more. Chocolate sauce. You like chocolate sauce, Jordan? Yeah. The key is to get it out of the <laughs> container. You like a lot of chocolate sauce? Okay. Just tell me when. <laughs> it's the Emerald and Jordan show. <laughs> Good? <laughs> you stay right there. We're going to have fun tonight, you and me. All right. We'll check the color in a second. Some milk. <laughs> All right, now I got this fancy blender. Start it slow. Chocolate 
Jordan, I think you're right. We need more chocolate sauce. <laughs> so we'll add more. Sometimes what I do too is I just, to kick it up a little notch, I just kind of put some in the bottom of the glass, right? Sometimes to kick it up a little notch, we take those frozen things, put them right in there. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, why mess around? You're gonna eat them anyhow, right? Just put them in there and drink it. Hey, when we come back, we're gonna kick up some late snacks. Another notch! Stick around. Lock it. Nightjus. Welcome back, everybody. Making late, 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 late night snacks. Hmm. Little milkshake first. How was it, Jordan? Good? Then uh, I always, most of the time, have some sort of cold cuts in the box, in the old late box. I'm a salami lover. And I made thousands of these things, but I ain't made them in a while until I started thinking about some late snacks. So we're gonna make some, uh, some salami cornets. Ladies, are you late snackers too? Yeah. I know, we all will have that problem. <laughs> I'm not even coming to you over there. I know you're a late, late night snacker. I'm gonna take some goat cheese and some cream cheese and a little butter. Little butter. And I'm going to just sort of in a bowl soften this up. But generally, I'd probably have this already made as some sort of dip already. So I'm just going to kind of soften this by hand. Why dirty the mixer? It's late. <laughs> Try not to leave as many trails as possible. <laughs> You know who you are. <laughs> oh, I can see all the faces in here. I... So to that softened butter, goat cheese, and cream cheese mixture, then what we're going to do is we're going to flavor this because it's just kind of cheesy right now. <laughs> going to add a little bit of chive. Got to have garlic, right? I mean, <laughs> it's never too late for garlic. And I'm uh, kind of feeling like a little basil right now. Just, I know it's late, but that's okay. Take some basil leaves. And then what we'll do is we'll just take and roll them up like this. Take our knife and we'll just sort of, what's called chiffonade. We'll do a little chiffonade of basil because it's late. <laughs> and what the hell else are you gonna do? You can't sleep, so you might as well chiffonade some basil. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be down there in the first place, right? <laughs> Doc, are you kind of a late night kind of? Oh yeah. Anything Every particular night. or whatever's in the ice box or what? Sweets. Sweets. Cake. I would have known. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and thin as a rail at that. Well. <laughs> well, we're going to make some cornets right now, Doc. Ooh, Not to be good. confused with the cornet. Right. <laughs> Little salt. <laughs> what else are you going to do? It's late. There's nothing on television. Emerald Live is already gone, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
You know you're not going to watch that show. What have you been doing? Well, I'm getting ready to make my 30-second movie. And uh, well, it was really tough on the set. You know, we ate too much. And... Give me a break, will you? All right, here we go. So you get some salami, you get the old cheese mixture out. I'd already have this in the bag if it was my place. Oh, yeah, I'm just being polite right now. You know who you are. You just go right in there and grab the bag. You know. You know what I mean? So, for these cornets, here's what you can do. Just take a little slice of salami like this that you have. Just do a little... Like that. As thick as much as you want. And you just roll that over like this and... See, you don't have to be fancy. You could just do these like little cornets, just like we did right here. See? You can do flowers. Depends how bored you are, basically. <laughs> See, we made these really good and fat. You could just do little rolls if you want. Sometimes, why get fancy? It's just like, it's late. There you have it. Roll it up. Oh, I love that. You know, you just kind of, you just kind of look in the mirror. You know what I mean, Doc? I know what you mean, man. Hey, don't have any salami. Don't sweat it. You can put them in olives. Oh, yeah, that's a good snack attack that I have. Look at that, a little olive like that, right? For those of you that have those pickled jalapenos in the fridge, right? Give them a little stuff, right? Hey, sometimes I just go with the celery, right? Look, right down the old celery, right? That's a snack. We come back. We're going to take them up. Another nod. Stick around. Not good. starting, it's late, but I'm starting to feel the love in here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can feel it. It's like little love pockets. <laughs> but it's late. Emeril Lagasse, welcome back, folks. <laughs> it's so late, we didn't know you were there. So we uh, basically stuffed the jalapenos, we did the salami, we did the celery sticks. You probably wondering where we're going next. Hmm. See, if you had a fridge like mine, you wouldn't, doesn't matter what time. Late, early, hey, check it out. Shh. <laughs> See? <laughs> Fully stocked at all times, whatever you need. I had risotto for dinner last night. So I had some leftover risotto, which normally we would. What we're gonna do, is I'm gonna show you how to make some rice balls. Or call them what you want. So I had some, this risotto stuff left, see? It's all gooey and, yeah. It's left over, right? Oh, you think we're making this stuff up? <laughs> we're not like the other show, you know? We're not flopping turkeys over here, you know what I mean? 
It's the real deal. Look, this stuff is... And it's late. Matter of fact, it's so late right now. I'm gonna have one of these. It's late. Hey, it's late. I mean, what do you think it's gonna take to make rice balls? Now, if it's, you might want to put an egg in here. Help yourself. Let's try one first. Old risotto. Well, it's left over. This lady's having a field day back there. So you can ask yourself, self! How do I take a plain old rice ball like this and kick it up a notch? Ha! I'll show you. Just use your finger like this. See? Where is Jay when you need him? Ma'am, it's gonna be all right. It's just a little hole we made. Nothing to alarm yourself. Take a piece of cheese. So happy this rice ball right now. And then we're gonna cover it up. See? It's not got to be any big deal. Where are you from? Where? Sag Harbor. Sag Harbor, okay. Are they all like you in Sag Harbor? Because if so, we're bringing the show there, babe. All right. I'm not going to make any more rice balls. Now, I got flour and egg wash and breadcrumbs, and it's late. Gonna add a little essence in there. It's never too late for essence. Oops, shucks. Let's add a little Parmesan cheese in there, too. So look, I add some with the meat, some with cheese that I did the thing with, okay? I can barely, and it's late. I'm hungry as heck right now. What you do is you take your rice balls, dredge them in the flour. They're happy. Then we're gonna dredge them inside the egg wash. Classic breading. So now, the rice balls are inside of the egg wash. Then you dredge them like this, and then into the breadcrumb. How do you know you got enough breading on them? Well, your hands will start looking like a glove soon, you know? <laughs> That's one indication. Now, Once we get them all breaded like this, finally, I just like to, you can bake them in the oven, but hey, at this point, it's late. It's very late. So at this point, I heat up some oil at about 360 degrees, and we're gonna fry them. When we come back, I'll show you what they look like. Stick around, okay? Back in.
And Miss Rose is in the audience. Happy birthday, Miss Rose. We're having a ball here. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, Emeril Lagasse here, kicking up late, late, late night snacks up a notch tonight. Rice balls. I'm so excited. <laughs> you know, I got a little leftover tomato sauce. That will work too, right? Yeah. Or if not, can open up one of them, whatever. When they come out of the fryer, whew, rough day at the office. Make sure you season them as soon as they come out. Not only do I season them with a little essence, as I'm going to show you in a second here, I also season them with a little cheese. Oh, yeah, babe. Now, oh. Generally, what I'll do, if you got a few extra leftover meatballs in there, that'll work too, you know? Then again, I could have went to the meatball sandwich thing and forgot this, okay? We would have been back at Sag Harbor already, you know what I mean? We had a little bit of that tomato sauce like that. Take a little bit of cheese. <laughs> Was that like the late, late night music? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll take a few of them rice balls like this. That would be well, my portion. <laughs> there you have it. Late, late, late. Rice. Actually, risotto balls. <laughs> you have some. You can make some friends. Let me show you. When they come out of the fryer like this, you see? That's when you want to season them. <laughs> And then I like the little cheese like that, too. So. Oops. It's late. Oh, we'll fix that. You know, another one of my... Yeah, just make some friends. Make friends. Be happy. Oh, yeah. Ladies, got to make some friends. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Can tell it's late, huh? Okay, now, that's how you have it here. Miss Rose, happy birthday, babe. All right, I've had enough of this ball thing. I'm moving ahead. <laughs> now, got to tell you, been to Philadelphia? Yeah. You know, there's the battle, right? Pats, Genos, good guys. If you stop by late night, you don't have to do this. But if you're in the middle of the woods somewhere, you can always do it yourself. Here's my little uh, emeraldized steak sandwich I want to show you. Philadelphia cheesesteak, right? Gonna get some onions. A little bit of green uh, bell pepper. That's an optional, though. You guys like cheesesteaks? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Huh. A little salt. I've worked both of those places, Geno's and Pat's. Oh, yeah, I've been there. I've done it. I've got the lessons down. Two spatulas. <laughs> Plus my friend's Martin Yan. You ever see him? He really, Yan can really cook, you know. <laughs> He's not lying. So now we got this over here simmering a little bit. We'll add a little garlic in there too. Now. 
take these little hoagie rolls. Some people don't like to cut them open like that, but there's a reason for my madness. I'll show you in a second here. <laughs> See, when you have them, they're like really drippy. There's a reason why. It's called grease. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I like to add a little olive oil and then what we'll do is we'll just kind of griddle these things. Okay? All right, I got that working. They're griddling. Now what we're gonna do is continue lightly cooking our peppers and onions. Philadelphia cheesesteak, when we come back, another knot, stick around, knock it. Gibson, the Emerald Band, Master Cliff on keyboards, Lewis on the horns, Teddy on drums. Thank you. Doc Gibbs. Oh, it's a battle of cheesesteaks going on here because it's late. Some people think just real cheese. Some people think cheese whiz. Some people think real cheese. Some people think cheese whiz. <laughs> So I'm using both. We'll call it Gee Whiz. <laughs> now, the onions and the bread, nice, nice. It's late. I'm getting hungry. Go get some sliced meat. Shave it. Mm. Here's the, the trick they do. Oh, yeah, I spent many a late nights down there, Pat's, visiting Doc Gibbs. Oh, yeah. So, from this steak sandwich thing, we're going somewhere else now after this. This is gonna be just enough for me. <laughs> oh, you can have an onion sandwich. We'll even give you a few peppers. Now, we're gonna start building this thing up now. Looks good, huh? I love this griddle thing. I actually started on the griddle. Well, we don't want to get it too well done. All right. Some fresh cracked pepper. A little salt. So we'll take this now. For me, it's the first layer of a little cheese whiz. I love when you talk like that. <laughs> then we'll take a little onions with the beef here. See? Goes right on there. Oh yeah, babe. Then I take a little provolone Put that right like this. Don't tell those guys down there my secret, though. Shh. That's why we call it Gee Whiz. <laughs> Take a little more of that Cheese Whiz. Late, late night. This don't put you to sleep. 
I don't know what will. Now, oh my goodness. Check that out, huh? In case you missed it, here we go. Cheese Whiz. That would be, you could just call it the day right there. We're gonna change it up now. A little more Cheese Whiz on this side. Then, we're going for the meat and the old. You don't have to wait. Some more provolone. Ah, oh, why not? It's late. You can always pop it in the oven too, right? All right, enough pain. There you have it, folks. A little Philly cheesesteak, Emerald style. Now, let me show you this. Shabbat bread, delicious, one of my favorites. Had some meatballs left over. Always have onions. At least in my fridge, I always have cheese. This is a combination of uh, mozzarella and a little cheddar. And I always have red sauce, whether it's in a jar or in the fridge, right? So, you get this Shabbat bread. Here's a quick and nice little snack. <laughs> Couple of things you can do. You can make a sandwich, load it up, bake it in the oven, just sit right there, you know, the three o'clock in the morning news, scratching, you know. You know, hey. Or what you can do, Make a pizza. Leave it open face like this. Take some meatballs. Okay, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. I'm going, I'm moving, I'm going. I'm going as fast as I can go. I know. Sorry we're not flopping turkeys. Go in, I'm moving. Now, take some red sauce right on the bottom. You with me? Look at this. Get it really good and sopping, too. Then, meatballs. Just clean out your refrigerator. Some onions. Then some of the cheese. Okay, I'm gonna make a few more of those and when we come back, I'll show you what they look like. Stick around, Doc Kids. in the Emerald Band. A little Guica there, huh? The Guica. A little South American drum. All right. We got a wild group back there from Sag Harbor. I got to tell you, that they're a major affecting people back there. They're like wilds. 
Oh, it's been late, late, late night snacks here. And uh, hey, folks, here's a simple one for you. Got a little bit of country bread or whatever kind of bread you have. Here's what I do. I just kind of cut it like this. A little olive oil. Kissing cousins. <laughs> just going to kind of grill this a little. Then, while that's doing that, you always have eggs around. So I just take a little bit of some slices of onion. Put that in a little saute pan. A little olive oil. <laughs> A little salt and pepper. So we'll just cook this a little bit. Then, whatever you got, ham, turkey, charisse, chorizo. We happen to have some uh, tasso. It's a cured spiced Cajun ham. Oh, it's pretty spicy, but it's late. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that in here. Okay? Sometimes you want to scramble them, sometimes not. Depends. Do you want to leave a trace? That you were up late eating? What would Richard say? So, how many folks are with you? Two, three? That depends on the eggs. Maybe you think two or three are with you. <laughs> just kind of cook that now, that ham, just a little bit. Little essence in here. Just kind of, mm. <laughs> It's late. It's very late. All right, so we'll just kind of let that go a little bit here. Take that guy out. <laughs> He's not cooperating. He is. So that's a good thing. Let's check on... Uh, Oh, I didn't tell you, I changed my mind. I was making the pizza, and then we had to go on a commercial break. But then I got carried away, so I just made sandwiches instead. Okay? See? See, I made just a little sandwich for myself. And see all the cheese and the meatballs is all gooey and stuff like that? Oh, I love that. <laughs> but it's late. Then if you're not happy with that program, ah, you get a little plate out. Put your grilled bread there. I just kind of put that egg and stuff there like that. So you can pick, because it's late, just how nasty you want to be. Meatball nasty? Frittata nasty. Meatball nasty? Frittata nasty. Meatball. Frittata. Meatball. Frittata. Okay. I'm just going to cut my sandwich a little bit in half. 
sit down on that warm couch before I start to scratch. I want to thank you for joining me tonight. I'm Emerald Lagasse. See you tomorrow, everybody.